Hi, this is Renee with AgExcel. I wanted to do a quick video to show you how we use 3D printing when we're designing some of the newer systems. Uh, as you can see, this is just a simple square with a cutout in it, um, trying to design a, a spacing bracket uh, for a certain system that we're working on. Um, I have two designs here, one that's a full solid square and the other one has the, the center cut out of it. We're going to be printing this uh, in a 3D printer with carbon fiber filament. Uh, so the first thing I do is I just do a rough design in the CAD program SOLIDWORKS and then from there we're going to take it to a, another program called a, a slicer and that's the program you're going to see here. I'm going to open the file here and what this does is shows me how it's going to be printed and I can change the thickness or the density of it. It'll tell me how long it's going to take and how much it'll cost in, in uh, filament usage. A little slider here shows you how it's going to print it, the layers, the direction it's going to print it from start to finish. Here I'm just prepping the 3D printer with a stick of glue so the filament will stick to it. And this is the print starting. As you can see it does an outline of it first and it just does layer by layer until as time goes on that layer starts getting thicker and thicker. This is a couple of hours into it uh, as you can see how thick it got. And since this is a carbon fiber filament, it prints it really slow to make sure it uh, holds strong and steady. And this is the finished result. So you see they have two different brackets here and once we test them out for spacing make sure the holes are where they're supposed to be and since this is carbon fiber filament it is rather strong it can take a good beating um, each one of these though the solid square one took about 11 hours to print the one with the center cut out took about seven hours to print and uh, since this is carbon fiber filament, it doesn't shrink as much as regular ABS filament, so the sizing on it is pretty accurate. And once we're happy with it, once all modifications are made, we can send it to a machinery shop and uh, have it made out of aluminum or any other type of metal. And that's just a simple printing of one of the many things that we've tested here. Thanks for watching.